and this is Nina, and over there is Sadie. <laughs> and in this video, I'm going to be giving you a couple of tips how to convince your parents to let you ride horses. Because I know when I first started, my mom was nervous. She was very, very nervous to let me ride because of my medical issues. But now, it is my life because I love horses so much, and hopefully going to be my career. So, let's get into it. parents worry about is safety because it's the children and that's what parents do but maybe horse riding is not risk free but that doesn't mean there aren't safety procedures in place to protect you like helmets and vests and did you know that horseback riding helmets and vests actually go through hardest testing that any helmets ever gone through horseback riding helmets do because it's safety and they even make some that can protect your butt your back your head everything I mean, I have a lot of those helmets, and I have a vest, and I have that for my medical issues. But I've also ridden horses even right after surgery, before I could walk, and that was my Zima over there. And I did great, and I still ride, and I love it. I'm actually going to be able to- Zima? Hey! Knock it off! <laughs> I'm actually going to be able to- ride and walk in a week so that's exciting thing is finding a good horse trainer instead of trying to teach yourself how to ride and just getting a random horse it's not a very safe idea you want to find a good trainer who knows what they're doing and has been doing it for a while and also you will be riding a very sa sadie don't start you will be riding a very safe lesson horse like her for example who is a therapeutic riding horse and it's calm and won't hurt you. I mean, she's not afraid of my crutches, my wheelchair, nothing. They don't spook easy, they're calm, and they just kind of get the job done. They know what they're doing while the kids are still learning what to do. You also will be on a lunge line, which basically connects to their bridle right here, so the horse trainer can control what they do while the kid learns how to balance, learns their hand movements and everything to keep them safe before they start controlling these big goofballs that act like children. You act like children. Another thing is horses can be very therapeutic physically and mentally. Like my Zena Bina was my therapeutic riding horse. And I did all of my exercises after surgeries on her and everything. And I was 12 years old. No 12 year old wants to do therapy. I mean, seriously, I'm 19 and I still don't want to because it's boring. But when I got told that I could do it on Zena, I was much more excited to do it because, well, I'm a kid. Oh, I mean, I was a kid, and that's what kids do. So it can be very therapeutic physically and mentally because, like, my dad brought me to the bar today because I there's been a lot going on. See, you think kids should ride horses, right? No. Yes, you do. I have three of them, and I'm getting a baby and another one. And we're building a bar. <laughs> you act silly, Lena. He acts silly. <laughs> the good thing about horsey back riding is you can make a whole bunch of friends from going to shows and learning about horses and doing barn work and your little horsies will be what you have in common. And another great thing is it can build a lot of confidence and it could even become your life and career like me. Yeah. Yay. <laughs> Because my horsies make me so happy. Say hi, Zadie. Say hi, Zadie. Zena. Hey. Not it. Zena. Stop. I can talk to Sadie. It's like having kids. Yeah. 